sometimes when I uh, know that I'm going to do um, doodling on a watercolor background is I will gather up some of my supplies with um, the Hannah Mueller bamboo pad. Of course, my watercolors from Hannah Windsor Newton. But since the it comes like with 24 colors, so what happens is that since this is kind of large, taking up so much space, but I'll show you that in a bit. I sometimes use my Windsor Newton watercolor spiral, which is good. Um, and if you're left-handed, what you can do is turn it this way, so you're not having to d deal with the spiral on your left side, but since I'm right-handed, I keep it this way. Um, and I want to also work with my um, etcher skits pad, and it's, let's see, it's smooth, uh, which is good. It's 100% um, cotton, and it's cold pressed, but it's more smooth than re regular. For example, on the Windsor Newton, it's also cold pressed, but it has more of a texture. First thing I do is get the um, paint wet with um, a few drops from my pipette. So I'm going to use that. So how how are you you today? Um, this is. I live in Chicago, so it's starting to get a little bit chilly, but it's not that too bad. Eventually, when I start filming during winter, I'll have to use a pair of gloves, but not right now. Let's see, soaker. As I said in my previous video, I'm not really used to using pan watercolors. I used to when I did it watercolors, it was basically um, out of toots. Um, but they're more expensive, and these are um, don't require a lot of space. So, one of the things I like to do is with the area that I'm going to put color in. That way it prepares the paper for the paint. Good. So let's go a little bit of green. And a little bit of red, yellow. And it doesn't matter what color you do your swatch on or in. I don't really pay much attention to that. I, when I start the doodling process, it'll be from scratch. 
not knowing what I'm going to do. So another thing you can do with your brush, before it all dries, get a little bit of water on your brush and tap, tap, tap. And that way, if you tune, use a little bit of color as well. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's go for a little bit more blue. Some artists will indicate what actually what pigments actually using. I tend not not to do that because I think it's more freeing for you if I let you choose what other co colors to use. I think it will be a good mix of colors once it's dry. So let's put, okay. Let's dry my brush a little bit. And it basically is a paper towel. You can have the water color dry naturally. Um, which I think is better because it's not forcing the watercolor to dry if you use like um and that's I'm doing using the Windsor Newton but I um I like to have it air dry because by Doing um, a, a blower dryer, you have the tendency to um, might change the pigments a little bit, which is not what you're going for. So again, I'm adding a, a little bit of water. And don't worry about the buckling. Once the paper is dry, it'll flat out, out a little bit more. A little bit of Rio. And I, over here, I have some water that I'm dipping my brush in every so often. Nice. I like that, that green that's going on here. And sometimes you can use like um, some tape to um, top, tape out off the, the edges, but I like it free flowing like this. So, and it's every so often you bring your colors across the paper to get them mixed in with each other. I've been playing around a little, a little bit. Or not, depending upon your style. You just want to have 
a little bit of fun. Good. Nice and dark, rich blue. And you might need to think of it a little bit, because depending on upon how it ends up drying, you may need to have this area more um so subtle so you aren't fighting the colors as you add your ink work The only problem is the dry time, because they all need to dry before you go in with your ink. So I'm little, using a little bit of red, or kind of magenta, for con contrast. little bit in here to add in some purple. I like purple. And I just put some more water on my brush and going to flick it. And you see the actually here? It's cool. And I'm going to show you up close if I can. That's going to be fun to doodle. So I'm going to set that aside. I didn't press the record button. I do that a lot. Sorry. And it looks really buckly. And the uh, page is kind of damp, but don't worry, it, it will settle down in a bit when it's more dry. So basically, you just want to um, add in some color, surprise yourself. Um, go with color combinations that you wouldn't necessarily go for and let the colors surprise you so let's go a little bit of red again it seems fairly stark but once you add it in other areas of your wash, it tones itself down, generally speaking. Okay. 
I want to have a little bit of contrast here. So I'm going to get a lot more water on my brush and again simply dab it on the surface of the wash. Sorry about that. And let the water do its magic. One more thing, I'm going to flick the brush So, what do you think? And although the first one is almost dry, I want to add a little bit more oomph. So, A little bit more water. A little bit more stuff. So even though you think you're done, you're not done until you're done. And let's add some red yellow again I don't worry too much about what the thing that looks like until I start to actually put into paper I like purple, if you haven't noticed. Purple is a great color, actually, to use if you want to create a subtle shadow. Because it's a combination of blue, which is a cool color, and red which is a one warm color So that will be a while to dry. And I want to show you the second one as it's drying now. So hold on. See? All these color that was um, bright and vibrant and clashing it's now kind of blending in 
harmoniously. That's going to be good for inking in my design. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do it with, but we'll see. So the if you like the video, hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I start um, inking in this design or the other two. And uh, YouTube will notify you when they're up. Have a great one. It was fun showing you some stuff. And I hope you got inspired. Take care. Have a good one. Good one. And I will see you later. Bye.